Hey everybody, how's it going? Blake here from the YouTuber's Guide to Surviving Life, bringing you guys another story about another time I was in Tennessee. I think this is actually the last day I was in Tennessee with my family, for reasons I'll tell you probably in another story. But anyway, this happened about a week after the Swing Set Rapper incident, and this would probably have to top that as the most interesting thing that's ever happened to me. So basically, my mom met this friend at the campsite we were staying at, and she was very churchy. She convinced my mom to get me and my family to go with her to the church on Sunday, which happened to be like the next day, I think, after they met. I'm not too sure. But we went to the church the next day. We got out of our tent, you know, we got all our, the nicest clothes we had with us, and, you know, we went to the church. It, the church, let me just give you guys a mental image of what the church looked like. It was a church... You know, it, it looked exactly what, so what a church would look like if it popped in your head. It wasn't nothing fancy, it was like those, the wooden church, the little tiny southern church, like, you know, that kind of church. Just like the little rows, there's like no other rooms except for the bathroom when you first walk in. It's, it's a really nice, nice side, cozy church. Basically, we started out the church thing. Why do I keep saying church a lot? We sit down on our seats. We open up the church day with my mom's friend actually singing a song, some christian song country, I think it was Temporary Home. When she started the song, we didn't actually think she was that good, and then she actually started singing, and we were like just amazed. My mom was actually crying. She was like two people away from us, and like she was like so emotional with it, and I'm just like, I'm trying not to laugh, because I knew that if I laughed, it didn't matter if I was in church or not, she would come over to me, and she'd start beating the crap out of me. Next thing we knew, the pastor came up. The pastor, since we were new, the pastor introduced us, introduced the church to us. He's like, yeah, well, it's very great that you're here. It's very, very, very good honor. And then he starts this thing. I'm, like, I'm, I'm not really good with my southern impersonations, by the way. So, right, so anyway, what he does, he goes, well, listen here. You're all here for a reason. I think he started talking about how the devil is lurking everywhere. I'm like, okay, all right, all right, this is a lesson, a churchy lesson, he's gonna read the Bible. He starts reading off of it, and then he starts talking about drama. He starts talking about drama. That's when my little head pokes up, and I see him, I'm like, directly looking at him, like, this is the only time I think I've ever in church I've ever paid attention. He pulls out this letter. He starts reading off of it. I think I'm gonna try to copy off word for word what he actually said, because it's actually been a long time. This happened this summer. But I'm going to read some of the things that stood out that I probably won't forget. She's like, this is from a woman. So basically, it was a letter he wrote, someone wrote to him, to his wife, talking about how he and the pa how she and the pastor were cheating on her. And it was, I don't know if you guys are catching on because I'm probably talking like an idiot right now, but it's like a whole drama thing with the pastor, and it's... <laughs> It didn't belong in a church. It did not belong in a church. Definitely did not belong in a church. Anyway, the pastor reads off the letters. Dear Miss Frank. Uh, that... By the way, guys, that's not actually what his last name was. I don't actually know what his last name was. Dear Pastor... Dear Mrs. Frank, because it was addressed to his wife. We don't like you. Me and the pastor, we... Uh, we... We, uh, uh, I don't actually remember what the next things they said, but they were talking about how romantic trips they done without her and crap. And, you know, it was messed up. It was messed up. I was just surprised to see that. You know, but that's not the most, that's not the craziest thing, though. That's not the craziest thing. The craziest thing is that after he got up with that, started freaking out about that, he walked down the hall and gave, and gave some papers to this one guy. He says, I'm done here. And he leaves. He leaves, and then the guy comes back. The guy that got the papers, he comes up to the top front. Her starting is like, Pastor Smith is a... Pastor Smith. He quit. He's resigned. I'm like... And there's like a gasp in the audience. And that's when like the Mexican soap opera jingle comes in the background. Like, oh. Like, in my, in my head, I was like... A narrator was in my head, like, tuning for season two for Church Wars, or Drama Church. Like, this felt like a TV show, it didn't feel like it was real. It was... crazy. Like, seriously, like, to sum it up, that day, all I, I woke up, and I thought nothing was gonna happen, but no. I went to a church, a freaking pastor started freaking out. And the thing is, we never went to that church before, and we will never go to that church again. 
That was the first and only time we'll ever go to that church, me and my family. That is so crazy that out of any of the days I could have gone, that one day, that pastor had to leave. It's either that it was such a coincidence, like a one in a million chance, or that kind of stuff happens every week. So we got in the car, all right, after everything was done, everyone was apologizing to us because, you know, we were new. We, it was like our first day there, and they didn't think it was okay that we had to witness that. But I was actually thinking the exact opposite. I was angry, not the pastor, not at what happened. I was angry that my phone was in my pocket the entire time, and I did not get any of it on tape. Could you imagine how much better this video would have been if I had it on tape? It, really, did you imagine? Just imagine that. Like, I can talk to you guys about a story about a pastor walking out on a church and how crazy it is and crap. But at the same time, the video, this video right now, would have been so much better if I actually had that piece of evidence. Which brings me to the lesson of today's video. Always bring a camera with you, because in such a crazy world where you could do so many things, even if you're not doing anything, always keep a camera on you and make it an instinct to pull it out and videotape things. So hope you guys like this story today. I'm going to be trying to make a lot more stories because I've only got one story so far. Uh, well, actually two, including this one. Because, yeah, I'm supposed to be... I think it's kind of stupid of me to be making more gaming videos and more commentaries on a YouTube channel that's basically directed towards my stories and the lessons behind them, which is the name, YouTuber's Guide to Surviving Life. It's kind of stupid that uh, I'm, I'm slipping on that, I guess. Probably gaming videos are more fun to make. Anyway, hope you guys like this video. Please leave a like, subscribe, and yeah. Um, and yeah, you know, whatever. <laughs> See you guys.